Hello everyone and welcome to Rover Mechanics Simulator. Uh, this is a game currently in alpha, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, alpha build 0.3.3.8. And the game was provided to me by the developers. I already had it on my Steam wish list anyway. Uh, but that fact uh, will not probably affect my response to it because if I get irritated by things, I will say so. I have serious trouble hiding when I'm irritated by things. So anyway, uh, we can see all the updates. So we have to expect it is in alpha and it's going to uh, have a few issues here and there. I have played uh, a little bit of Car Mechanic Simulator. I posted a video of playing Mechanic Simulator before, so I know basically how this goes. I actually played this game already. I just deleted the profiles to start anew. So we are going to do Tyler Rays again. Create. Okay. Fingerprint scanning is going to happen. Um, I don't know how irritated I'm going to be by having to hold the fingerprint thing. We'll see. As far as options, uh, we have the language is English, but I think that would have to be changed in Steam anyway. We definitely want the tips. Um, normal controls, otherwise. If you've done any mechanic simulator, you know the assembly, disassembly, and analytics thing. And uh, zoom in and zoom out is E and Q. That I'll have to remember. That's not normal. Uh, though the center, the scroll wheel shouldn't handle that anyway. Here's the current audio. And the current video quality preset high is the best it goes. And um, I've got SMAA anti-aliasing, though it does have TAA. Probably all right anyway. We've got a little bit of vignette and uh, all that stuff. So, all right. So without further ado, um, just got the, we've got markers and then the objectives in the upper right hand corner, uh, which we can toggle with four, and you can see five uh, brings up the controls. Now uh, here's one thing, uh, they've got demontage and montage there instead of de de disassemble and assemble. Um, we'll see how these things go. Left click to toggle things. That tip should probably pop up before you have to left click, but I guess it's just natural anyway. Again, uh, this is just giving all the things so that uh, eventually things will be better. So I have to pick up this. Here again, it's telling me this after I already started picking up my tools, but, but I guess it's okay that it should tell me that the activities will be blocked until I pick up my tools. So I'll pick up my tools and uh, I've got my tools. Now it says, welcome to Rover Mechanic Simulator. There is a lot of things to do in the hangar. Now you can explore the hangar and we will explain to you what each specific device does. You can also accept your first task from the tablet menu. Okay, so I'll press F from the tablet menu. Now the thing that I got messed up on uh, on my previous tries was um, I kept accidentally uh, completing the missions. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, first of all, you really, really shouldn't accept sp the spirit mission until you do the other ones first, even though they give you the option that, you know, you got three things here. But really, it's only giving you three things because of later in the game, so you have a choice, right? Um, well, the only one that we should accept is this first one here. This is going to be easy. Good. Everything seems fine except for one wheel. Would you be so nice to find out what causes the problem? All good. So, now, oh, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. I was about to say, see what I did? I, I just instinctively put the thumbprint on the thing, and but that was to complete the mission. It just shouldn't let you complete the mission right there. I, I just instinctively always do that, and I completed the mission, and now it's messed up. Okay, fine. Uh, you can't do anything but continue there, so... Uh, I am too low a rank to do the opportunity. So let's do the soldier one. Thankfully, I've done that first soldier one, soldier one before. Okay, so don't do this finish the quest. We have to click resume up here. Okay, let me remind myself about that. The wheel you replaced last time works just fine, but the sojourner seems to have more problems than we previously assumed. Before you solved the wheel issue, the bearing must have sustained damage, which caused it to deteriorate much quicker. Since you already have experience with the sojourner, could you please take a look at it once again? This time... It's paid extra. Well, I guess it's all right. All right, resume. All right, so how this works is 
And let me just uh, point a quick thing out. Um, everything up there is fine, except for the radiation thing runs me the wrong way, because millisieverts is received radiation total as uh, cumulative. And so either you got millisieverts per, really at that level, you talk about like per year. Um, that's a huge amount of millisieverts. Um, one sievert is starting to cause you problems, and then five sieverts can kill you. So, um, yeah, anyway. It uh, it's, should be a rate. So there's a 3D printer over here that takes resources and resources are in R. You can see in the upper left, we've got a thousand R, thousand resources. And then this is the MCU. And they re remind you that pseudo doesn't work on Mars because it's Mudo. Okay. Um, but really what we need to do is move this slab into the center of the thing uh, once it's blue and yeah, I don't think I could carry that. But then it's, it is Mars gravity, so maybe I could. Okay, so yes, thumbprint and crane. And move, move, move. It's got a little mini map in the uh, bottom left there. And then shift S to lower. And then F to attach. And then move, move. So the big rover is just to bring the little rovers in and you, I guess we only get to work on the little rovers. And the little rovers will be Sojourner type, Opportunity Spirit type, and then Curiosity type. I don't know if there's going to be a Mars 2020 type. Probably not. I don't know. But then again, Plane Mechanics Simulator also had three planes to work on, so I guess that's fair, but no wonder if it would be possible to have rovers that aren't just the normal rovers. So they said wheel bearing, and uh, let's left click to focus, uh, again to diagnostic mo mode. Things can get pretty complicated it seems, because there's a bench where you can mess with PCBs. And there are specific electronic components. So if you think it's just gonna be screwing and unscrewing things, it doesn't seem that way. Though I certainly haven't gotten to that level yet. I'll show you in the where where we got the 3D printer, uh, which is basically how we get new components. Maybe in the midst of this, we should take a quick look at that. Just to break up the monotony of doing the wheels. This is my third wheel, so we're at halftime, it's probably gonna be the last wheel of my luck. So, yeah. So, let's just walk over here to the 3D printer. And if we could take a look at parts, these are non electronic parts on the left and electronic parts on the right. So, we've got this uh, series of non electronic parts, pretty expensive sometimes. Like that rotor would take our entire budget right now. Though you can recycle parts in order to get some resources back. Uh, there's a solar array there. I don't know if these are all parts just specific to um, Spirit or whether whether are different ones will be necessary. But you can see they each have a... It only takes a few seconds to build anything it seems. Now once we uh, get the right bearing off, we will need a bearing. And so how much is that? There's bearing. Oh, there's, yeah, it's still 471. I think it's this one. Oh, uh, the icon tells us which rover it's for. So that's, so there's a Sojourner one. So we're on Sojourner, yeah. And then that's a Spirit one. Uh, they might not be displaying any um, any parts for Curiosity because we haven't got any missions related to Curiosity yet, or we haven't unlocked that level yet. And then there are also sets in case you want the whole assembly, but that's expensive. And then the electronic parts, um, so we've got some integrated circuit boards and uh, we've got the actual inductors, resistors. You know, if they tell us the stats, of course, that'd be too much, probably. But 
And then over here, there is the circuits workbench. You can also print the entire PCB, but you can replace the specific one if you need to, a specific component if you need to. Okay, we were on this wheel over here. Let's see, oh, this one, it's this one, it's the second to last one. I think 34% is bad enough. So, take that. Guess we have to 3D print it. Unless we can repair it, I don't think so. This is the repair bench. Nope. Clean it? Nope. Okay. There goes our budget. That's the wrong rover. This is the one. God, like half of our budget. Watch out, once you left click it already starts. And it comes out on this end. Little panel here. Four, thirty. We can. We have a ten object queue, and it always seems to be in this container. Well, maybe the bigger things aren't in that container, but it seems like it's always in that container. Okay. Well, here we go. Click. Assembly and that bearing. At that point, let me just do a diagnostic on. Oh, the bearing cover also needs. Oh God, do I have you even have money for that? I should have gotten the entire assembly, maybe. Okay, all right. Well, good thing I checked now. I wonder how much I get for recycling the parts. Bearing cover... Is it a... Oh, at least they don't cost too much. Which one is it that I've gotten? Uh, bearing cover B. Well, doesn't take too long. Two seconds. And... Still comes in that container. Okay. Okay, so the wheel is fine. Now on a previous occasion, I mean hopefully that last one doesn't need to be checked, but on a previous occasion I forgot to um, resize drivers, I think. And... Um, let's hide that. I think that's what this is. But... How do I manipulate that? Got that on. Maybe with my tablet. I definitely don't want to finish the quest. Now, for some reason, there's a printer tab here that doesn't work. No, no, not like that. Okay, so there's some way that I've I mean, if you take a look at the tab, uh, tablet again, um, it doesn't actually tell you. It says rover is complete, but it doesn't tell you that you still need to do that thing. Also, this balance is a little bit weird. That what it means is the profit, not the balance. Balance is the result in your actual amount. The 498 in the upper left, that would be the balance. But, um, yeah, I wanted to recycle the parts to see if we could get, get some back. Well, only 40 for the bearing. And only 2 for this. So, yeah, not much. I'm gonna be, like, down money after this. That's a little bit of a problem, constantly being down money. Maybe... But I tried repairing it before, so I don't know. 
Okay, so now how do I do the di the um, drivers? It's not gonna be like that. Aside from looking through the pad, I don't know how it works. Maybe this? But it's just the overhead crane controller and it's got the Mudo thing, but... I mean, there's a Mudo apt get install snake. A little tag there. Okay, well... Let's see what happens. Misspelled installation there. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, three kilobytes. That sounds like a rover package to me. Oh wait, no, there's, it's the snake. Okay, it has nothing to do with the rover at all. It's just... I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Hmm... Alright, well, I might... I mean, I think I have to do something with this. Press the power button? Wireless configurator. Well, I mean, if it's wireless configurator, it should work for my pad, right? Again, I've been through this before, that's why I'm worried. See this experience minus 110? That's what I'm worried about. Okay, I'll just finish quest and we'll see. See this uh, restart drivers minus 30? Yeah, that's the problem. I don't know how to restart the drivers. So, but otherwise I got the XP. But I didn't really make money off of this venture. Or resources. I didn't make resources off of this venture. Cost resources net. And next we have the Spirit Rover. Well, let's take a look at that. We need a higher rent. I mean, if I don't get enough XP, I mean, I'm not going to have enough rank to do the opportunity. Hmm. Okay, now it's time for a bigger toy. As you've already got to know the Rocker Bogey mobility system, not really, <laughs> the wheels. But you should be the right person to tackle this problem. This time, uh, your weird um, typo, uh, giving you Spirit, which is a bigger rover than Sojourner. However, the suspension is by and large the same, so you shouldn't find it difficult. The rover was priorly um previously examined and it looks like its engine in wheel actuator needs to be fixed um oh i'll have to see i don't remember uh well let's see uh though i can't remember which one was it it was okay don't click the finish the quest <laughs> really want to go to the bottom right corner and click that again we have to move this table which like can it just stay there? There, anyway. Maybe there's something else going on. Give us a spirit. Okay. All right, here's spirit. So, engine in wheel actuator. Uh, I'd probably gonna have to assemble stuff before being able to find out what's wrong. 
Okay. Uh, oh, I see. The middle click is focus on that point, basically. That's what it is. Let's just start with this front wheel and work our way back. Though this is the... I should have, on the previous one, I should have known that it was that front wheel. Because that was the wheel I had worked on before, and they said. Gosh darn it. All right. But this is that same wheel, so it can't be the same one this time, right? There's no way. Oh, well, I mean, I, uh, I guess when they say engine and we in wheel actuator, they mean the engine in the wheel actuator. So we do have to take it off. Okay. Fancy wheel look. Wood texture, swirly thing. Is there a engineering purpose? Overall, uh, not a whole lot of problem getting around this thing. And well, of course, we've only been working on the wheels so far. Ah, this one. Yeah, okay, fine. Take it out. Uh, I'm not gonna have any budget. Uh, maybe I can repair it. I don't know. It's my only hope. <laughs> okay, well, there's a chance. All right. Repairing is divided into three modes. It's basically the same three modes, so. Anything but buying a new motor. I don't even know if I can afford a new motor. Analysis mode. Yes, we've rate. <laughs> Tell me this stuff earlier. Okay, that brush B is bad. Well, yeah, both brush Bs are bad. Okay, um, let's start taking stuff off. Wonder what brush Bs are. Why can't this be sorted alphabetically? Um, this has got to be a part, it can't be a set. Brush. I guess brush is what we want. Does that look right? But it's so expensive, 377, we don't have enough for two. And I lost resources on the first mission. Oh, uh, th this, br uh, but it's still 471. What am I gonna do? I mean, it would have been better if we had made resources on the first mission, but we didn't. We lost resources. Well, I'll make one. See if that's gonna be enough. Is there. Maybe there's parts lying around that we can scrap. Radio. Okay. Oh, that's how you get music. Oh, jeez. Um. Okay, actually, I. Oh no, I, I reconsider. Okay, maybe if I turn it down. Okay. All right. That'll be fine. Tools, things I can't click. I need things I can scrap. Okay, well, we've got music. It's a good thing. Now we'll get this fresh engine brush here. And then we'll get the least damaged one in here. I mean, that's all I got the resources for. And I doubt scrapping the other engine brush is gonna give me enough otherwise. Well, maybe I've done something wrong. I mean, I didn't do the first mission, but the first mission also did not yield me more resources. So, it was just a real repla re wheel replacement. And I had to purchase you know, with the 3D printer the wheel. I couldn't uh, repair the wheel. What am I? No, 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 no. 
Are you sure that's got a bad... Come on. Rediagnose? No? 24% is the best we can do? No. That's the best we can do. That's the best we can do. So, do we have that little thing to stick in it again? Yeah. On the tail, see, it's indicating that. I mean... No, so I'm gonna put that on. Earned resources. Predicted reward was 650 resources spent. I swear it's double, uh, double counting against me on the resources spent. Because if my balance turns out to be 182 after this, well, I guess. I mean, it's already deducted the 471, so it just, should just give me the 650, right? If let's say I succeed the mission, right? I, it's already taken the 471 from me, so it should just give me the 650, right? But of course, I'm not gonna succeed this mission because the wheel is not in yellow territory. Hmm. Anyway, uh, but the problem is, I still don't know what to do with this guy. I can't even remove it. Oh. Maybe, whether it's assemble or disassemble, if I click one of these other parts, yeah, but I can't click that and go assemble, disassemble, or analyze. Can't analyze it. Maybe there's another, once that's in there, I have to click some other part to analyze in order to do the driver's thing. I don't know. No, I just get out of analytical mode. Is there something around here that will medkit? Yeah. Just in case I get burned. Um, cycler. I don't think there's anything except for my pad. It should be with my pad, but I don't know. It's upgrades. I need skill points for that, and I can't. Skills reset. Well. All right, well, I don't see any option, really. Let's finish this. I I get the feeling I'm gonna fail. Repair rover minus 50. I mean, we got some for the... for the putting the lift in the right position, but all else is, has failed, and I still got zero XP. But let me see what kind of resources we have. Just the 72. Maybe we would have gotten paid the 650. I don't know. I think uh, things are going pretty weird. So, at least we've got music now. But uh, I think I'm missing something here. So, again, uh, games in alpha. Possibly, probably I did something wrong and I'm missing something. I'm, you know, famously dense when it comes to these things. So, yeah, uh, things things have things are not going well as far as my uh, resources or my XP. So, yep, but this is this video is by way of feedback so that things uh, either can be explained to me like a five year old uh, by the time the game actually comes out or things otherwise get um, improved. But anyway. Uh, with that, I'll say thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.